Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Kimberly Voss, and we're at the Noradon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio with Chef Tony Clark. Hi, Tony. Welcome. Nice Thank to see you. you. Nice to see you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. This is such a beautiful kitchen yeah, here at the Noradon. Yeah, it's an amazing kitchen. Facility. It's I know. very we stepped impressive. It up. You like pizzas? I love pizza. And do you like pizzas by an Irish Polish chef? I would love pizza by an Irish <laughs> Polish chef. I'm the second best uh, pizza chef. But listen, so what we do is I have all the pizza and I have the dough out. Okay. So the most important thing is to have your dough like a room temperature. Okay. Okay. If it's too cold, you won't be able to stretch it. Right. And get it right. So the key is, of course, you know, with the dough that you make it thin. Okay. Now I don't throw it up in the air. You but don't? No. Because I think that messes it up. Like what I just did there. Okay. But what I do is I stretch it out like this, and I let it drop. Can I feel? Yeah. See, it's nice. The dough's mm -hmm. nice. It's not cold. And we're just stretching it out. Expands. Right. And I kind of like pull my fingers open. Okay. As I pull it. You ever make pizza before? I have. Have you? Good. Have you made dough before? Yes. I, that, yes. And how, and how thin do you uh, is your pizza? Um, I like a little thicker. Thicker? Mm-hmm. Like Chicago style? Yes. I like it thin. Sometimes we can use a rolling pin to make it thinner. It's pretty much where I need it to be. So what we'll do is we take the peel. Okay. Isn't it in Boston to have this beautiful peel here? Definitely. Okay, so what I do is I put a little flour in there just so it slides into mm -hmm. the oven. Okay? Don't want it to stick. No. It's not good when it sticks. No. So our first ingredient that we're going to put in is Dijon mustard. Really? Bam. That's interesting. Well, because I'm not Italian, so I love you know this. I'm going with Dijon mustard. Doesn't that make sense? I love it. That's why I have kibasi and everything else. But no, it's a it's a really neat, it's different. I take a little bit, rub it on the bottom. I love making pizza. I do too. Yeah. I like eating pizza. Yeah, me too. I like everything that is involved with pizza. It's a prerequisite if you live it's, in New Jersey or uh -huh. Pennsylvania. I live like in New Jersey. Now we pick some tomatoes, sliced tomatoes, real thin, right? Those look really fresh. Yeah. Pretty soon we can get them from the garden. I uh, know. I love tomatoes. I'm, I'm a New Jersey boy, and tomatoes are great. So I put a little Jersey salt fresh. on this. I take a little herbs, and these herbs are just little basil yep. and parsley. Basil, okay. And I have some fresh mint that I like to put in there. Great. It's kind of like pretty cool, like you make it like a... Do whatever you want. Yeah. Whatever what? herbs you have available. So there's 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 the herbs. Then I take Great. some Gruyere. Oh, isn't that crazy? Interesting. I'm I crazy. love this. It's all nuts. They're some not of the best pizza I ever had was in Sweden, believe it or not. Oh, that. really? Mm -hmm. They had very awesome. interesting combinations. Uh, that's a nice little state to, um, country to visit, Sweden. Oh, huh? beautiful. Did you get in trouble? No. I would. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I know. Okay, so that we're just going to throw this in. But what we're going to do is. Um, I take my brush. Okay. And I just want to brush the crust. And why right? are you doing that? I give it a nice color okay. because it's the other the dough underneath is going to be covered with cheese and tomato, and this is going to show. So I just want to do that. Okay. So that's the first one. Very nice. So as we put the first one in, we'll start our second one. And this beautiful. Bam! How about that, huh? Beautiful. This is it. Dough yacht oven. I, I, I want this in my home. I know. These are fantastic. I know. I need three of them. I, I'll, I'll just eat pizza every day. I would too. I know. That's a good, good thing to do. Now, our next one. So I started the dough. Okay. And I just pull it. You want to try, right? I'll try. Okay. I, let I'd me like just show try. you one Although thing. I do have nails. I just let's, Nails are fine. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> so we're just going to pull it a little bit. Okay? okay. We're stretching it a little bit. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. Just a little bit and turn it as you go. That's beautiful. No throwing it up here? No throwing it. I don't throw it. I say I don't throw it because I probably won't catch it. That's why I'm saying I don't saying think I'm, I would either. Yeah, that's why I say, oh, they don't, you're not supposed to throw because I'll drop it. <laughs> Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. To be here at Nordon and cook in this kitchen is pretty incredible for me. It's a chef's dream come true to have all this wonderful equipment here. Man, that's cooking really so we nice. You can cook multiple pizzas yes. in this beautiful oven. Yeah, so what we do is we just 
Kind of take a fork. Okay. And put it like that. How long does it take to cook a pizza? In well, in a, in a pizza oven, it takes like three minutes, and this wow. is looking good. That sounds like half yeah. the time. Yeah, well, because you're making it thin. I make a thin pizza, like a, a, like an Italian pizza, so. I okay, so very energy efficient. I know. We're gonna be jamming them out today. Good. We could do the whole uh, the whole area here, right? Great. Let's see if that hotel wants some pizza. Okay. All right. So what I do is I, I kind of stretch it a little bit. All right. Okay. Not too much. Mm -hmm. This is where the nails wouldn't be good. This is where the talent comes in. No, no talent. Just a lot of, a lot of, you know, monarchy. Okay. Monarchy. That's Irish. I call it talent. I do. <laughs> yeah, my mother never called it talent. She called it a lot of things. Oh. Okay, so we really want to pull it to make it thin, and you can see, but not too thin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we dock it's it with our finger, airy. right? And then we're going to roll it. You want to roll that for me, dear? Sure. Awesome. That is looking good, good, good. Oh, it's All right, that's good. So we're looking at our pizza as we're cooking it. And the most oh, important thing fantastic. is when we pick it up and it's still like wow. this, okay? But I think it should Amazing. go a couple minutes, one more minute. And that's what's nice about the jet air. Oh my god! Is that it evenly cooks. So I know. you don't have to worry about burning the edges or. And you get to look into it, you know? So right. that's okay. Okay, so this one here, we're gonna make a, a, a Italian cheese and prosciutto mm. with arugula salad. Delicious. So we're gonna put a little olive oil. So you use your hands. Right? It's the best technique. Oh, right? I, you know, I'm, I'm handy with my hands, so. This is a little uh, Italian cheese right here. And I take a little bourzan, right? Okay, and then we're gonna put a little um, provolone. But not too much. Okay. Just break it up, right? Good, okay, now, we're gonna take this one out. You have to be quick because they get done so quickly. I know. Okay, so we take this one, we'll let this sit here. Great. Okay, now we're gonna take the other one, put it under here. Okay, slide it on. Awesome, right? Great. Fantastic. Now, we're gonna put this one in right like this. Mm-hmm. This is a great thing to have. Look at that beautiful pizza. Okay, this is my next one. Okay. And this is the clam, the spicy clam. Oh, now this is right up now, my alley. This is what we do in, in New Jersey. This is like the docket. Okay. And it will help it uh, be a little crispier, oh, right? The that's steam a great will tip. grab. So, but we want to spread it out. There, look at that. That's fast, wow, huh? That was very quick. See that? As I make them, they're ready. But let's just finish this up here. And it's very uh, small, so it's not yeah. taking up a lot of space in the kitchen, no. which is great. So you can. It's amazing, and it's comfortable. It's very clean. And this eye level area here is really good. So. That looks but I'm going to just go back here for a second. I'm going to brush this again with the uh, oil. Okay. Just because I like the oil on there. Just soak in. Right. That's starting to look good, huh? Looks it so looks good. like it's an Italian, huh? I'm getting hungry. Oh, don't worry, honey. You'll always eat. Okay, that's almost ready. So we're going to get this one okay. pretty much. So again, what we do is br brush it with oil. This is a really great one. Such pretty ingredients. I thought you were complimenting on the chef. Well, you're the pretty, the pretty, <laughs> pretty ingredients. Okay. Well, that, that goes without saying. Oh my girl. Okay, now, so what is this? This is clam. Oh, this is the clam. Okay, and I love. You can it's just got hold such clams. a great color. Yeah. It's golden. Yeah. So then I take some um, hot peppers, which are cool. Right? Interesting. I love. Some broccoli rob, which I cooked with a little garlic and olive oil. It's starting to look good, isn't it? Looks great. And then we take a little peas. And then we put some mozzarella. Now this is a very unique pizza. Oh, you know, I'm not a normal person, you know. I'm, I walk a little different, they say. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take this one out and put this one in. Okay. Looks beautiful. And we're gonna do nice a little, and golden. 
That's not done. Let's just start it. That one over there. So it's always good to make the pizza on the peel. That's my girl. Yeah, oh, I love that. Okay. That's all right. We'll fix it as we go. Good. I learned I make these pizzas when I was a personal chef. Stay tuned for more with Chef Tony Clark. This has had to be the best kitchen that I've worked in for a show since I've started doing this. The intense heat on that grill, just amazing. So we take a little uh, prosciutto, right? sliced thin. Okay. You like prosciutto? Yes, I love it. Very good. So this is really cool how it comes out hot and then we put the prosciutto right on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we take a little arugula. Oh, I love arugula. Right on top. Maybe a little Parmesan. And then finish this with truffle oil. Oh, I love truffle oil. See, I'm, I'm, I'm you're falling truffle. in love with me already. <laughs> I can't believe you're another one. I Get think in they line. must have told you. <laughs> That's right. After our first date, you'll run. Okay. I'll fix that problem. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, good. So that's doing good. Now we're gonna do this one here. Is the kibasi oh. potato and caramelized onion. Can we give a little flour there, loaf? Sure. That's right. We're gonna start here, and the dough is really nice. That's good. So you've been to the Nordon kitchen many times before. Yeah. Do you use a lot of their appliances? I love their appliances. They have the Every, top, top of the, the line. The best. Everything I need, they have. That's why I'm, I'm going to open up seven restaurants and they have good. everything I need. That's good to hear. Yeah, I know. Make a lot of people happy. Except for uh, me. I'll probably be going crazy, working too much. What I did with this tomato is pureed uh, plum tomatoes with a little garlic, uh, some cheese, and olive oil. Just not, not a lot, but great olive oil, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the flavor, and good tomatoes. And what herb is in here? Little basil. Basil. Basil Nagol. Great. See that? It's Italian. Irish Pole is speaking Italian. Italian. No, I'm Excited. not teaching Italian. That's the only word I know. I left I, I, I left Italian class right after that. You Basil Nagol, boom, I'm done. I doubt that. No, I did. I see how I'm pulling it, really? And mm -hmm. I'm being very careful. I'm, the guys that make pizza would, are, are laughing at me now. But uh, in the end, my flavor will be good. Take a little bit of sauce. They cook very quickly yeah, they, in those doyan ovens. I love that. I love that. Not too much. Uh, you don't want to make it too saucy. Okay. Now uh, you can put that over there for me, back where it was. And you don't put it all the way to the edge, also. No, I want space. I want the crust. The crust is to some people is the most important I part agree. of the pizza. So, so I, this is caramelized uh, uh, kibasi. My Polish yes. heritage is here, and I do I it with a pepper kibasi. jelly. I love kibasi. You want to try it? Yeah, I love My girl. Oh. See, the pepper jelly has a little Very pepper nice to little it, sweetness to it. Yep. Hotness. Yeah. So. Very nice. You try to do things nice. Otherwise, they don't invite you back. I know. Okay. I thought they just wanted good-looking guys. No, they just want good-looking cooks. No, not really. They just want cooks. Oh. <laughs> so, love the kibasi here, right? Mm hmm That looks like a good pizza. Now we're gonna put some uh, parm uh, mozzarella. Okay. I have some caramelized onion I'm gonna put on there. Oh, that looks nice. There you go. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. So you have everything ready-made. Yeah, well, that's the key. That's the ticket. And then we're going to take some Especially potato. Especially we have to be so quick. Yeah, you have to, you have to be, uh, well, you know, when they make pizzas, they come in and like a lot. We're going to put a little bit more potato on there. I mean, the cheese right on okay. top. Okay. This one's good. Put a little more potato? No, uh, the oh. cheese. Oh, cheese. Okay. Thank you. Bam. That looks good. That looks very okay. good. Awesome. All right, that's good. I'm, I'm usually right very there. generous with the cheese. You, you like cheese? I love cheese. 
Oh, that smells but the trick so is, delicious. Next time, you want to help me out here? Sure. The trick is to always make the pizza on the peel, and we'll make the last one like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. But uh, it's good if you if you're doing it with your your significant other to have them help you out like that. You know, instead of nice. what are you sitting on the step? That's are you right. There? It's a group effort. I know. Otherwise, you don't eat. That's right. It's right. good philosophy. Don't don't say that too much. <laughs> My sisters will come over here and uh, tell you what it's all about. Oh, okay. I, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is done. Okay, and then we make the lobster pizza now. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Well, the new Restaurant Edition Chef's Kitchen is great. I feel like uh, I've grown up here, and I feel like, you know, I'm coming back to sort of a new and improved kitchen. I wish this was my home kitchen. You like lobster? I love lobster. Good. Now this, uh, let me just pull this one out. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow, that was beautiful. Let me just put this here. Gorgeous. Okay, that's not bad, huh? You could call a pizza gorgeous, I would call it I know, gorgeous. you can, you can. It's what you do with, after you call it gorgeous, is what you can get in trouble with. Okay. So this one here, we're gonna do a, if you can give me that ladle there. Mm -hmm. Right there, I'll, I'll take care of it. This, do you want the sauce? Yep, I'll take just, just the ladle and put this down for you. Thank you. All right, we take a little pesto, not too much. Take a little of your cheese it's that you had garlic, over there. a right? Yeah, it's pesto, pine nuts. Okay, a little bit of handful of your cheese over there. Okay. I have some corn that I just cooked like seconds. Shucked it. Okay, so this is good. Bam. This is a great summer pizza. Then with lots of corn. Okay. And then we take the lobster, fresh lobster that we diced up. Beautiful. Not, not bad, huh? Now, do you serve this at your restaurant? Is um, this one that's on the menu right now? We change it all the time. You do. Um, so it would be for summer? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the oven, and then we're going to start cutting the ones that we have and tasting, and then this one will Great. be ready. Okay, so the first one, so let's start cutting these. Okay, what do you want me to do? Anna? Right here, looking amazing like you are. So this one I love because of the cheese. And that was what kind of cheese again? The Gruyere. Gruyere. Mm -hmm. And I love the mustard with that. So it's got a little French flair. Yeah, you know, I, I, I did train in a French restaurant. Otherwise, I'd be, well, if go. I didn't do it, they'd kick me out. So I'm just going to put this here like that. Great. And then this one here is really fun. Prosciutto, you know, sliced prosciutto and arugula, almost like a salad. Mm -hmm. Right? Looks nice, huh? Looks delicious. Well, is it, that means I'm doing my job. It was looking good. So let's just put this on there like this. I take a little bit of the greens, okay. put it on there like that. That's it, baby. Okay, that looks good. Don't eat this one on the first date. No, you can't. Oh, well, it depends. It might be a bad <laughs> date. So you eat it, you know, eat the garlic away. Here's the clam. I love the broccoli rob in the clam. Yes, that's a, never seen that combination. All right, so this is good. And then let's check our last one. Okay. A little bit more time. Okay, good. Is that good? So what we're gonna do is this. While this is cooking, we'll, and we'll taste these. This one we're gonna put a little uh, a little truffle oil on it. Okay. I'll just throw it in the oven for a second while we taste them. I think we're doing good with the pizza. Oh, look at that. I need one of these ovens in my home. I do too. I know. I, look at I that. I think everyone does. All right, wow. listen. That lobster so, looks fantastic. I know, not bad, huh? So, oh, wow. Well, Sorry. Wow, well, beautiful. <laughs> you can dance well. I can catch you. <laughs> no, I don't know. You can drop me. OK, so we'll just cut our pizza for the lobster tasting. That's good, right? Uh. 
Incredible. It smells so good. Uh, that's me keeping my job. This is Scott Stauffer hey, from Scott. Nordon. He's a CFO. Hi, Don. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Board. Thank you. I'm CFO of Nordon Preferred Kitchen, your one-stop food service equipment provider. Best kitchen I've ever been in. Good. Glad yeah. you enjoy it. Wow, Tony, this looks fantastic. Jeez, that's good. That's good news, then. I can't wait to dig in. I know. Help you yourself? serious? Yeah, Lobster? Is, yeah, go for it. Okay. All right. Don't be bashful. Bon appetit. Uh, bon appetit. Mm. So good. Mm. Different, huh? Mm. The mustard really plays a good part of that, right? Great How's flavor. Very innovative. Mm. Very creative. Truffle oil's good on that. Yeah. You'll have to try this. I'll come back. Well, I want to thank you so much, Scott, for coming from Nordon. Okay, very good. Thank great you. Great having you. Thanks for everyone coming and here. And Tony, once again, always a pleasure. No, thank, thank you. you so much. It was great. I'll tell you what, this is amazing to be here at Nordon. It's amazing. The equipment's first class. This pizza oven, never seen it before. It's amazing. This is a great marriage to be with Nordon.